for those of you who didn't watch last week's episode, I blew out my tailwheel. Check this out. Shredded the sidewall completely. Um, so I actually noticed that there was a a crack developing in the sidewall during my pre-flight. Uh, pointed it out to the instructor. He said, "Ah, not not to worry too much. That um, we'll see how it goes. It should hold up." And then we had a particularly hard tail landing. Um, that I said, well, let's pull over and have a look. I'm, I want to just double check the tailwheel at that point. As soon as I got out the aircraft, the tube was sticking out the side of the tailwheel and uh, we called it for the day. That uh, hard tail landing um, was unfortunately the cause of somebody else who decided to drive a vehicle across the runway as I touched down, slammed the anchors, brought the tail up, dropped the brakes, pulled back on the stick really hard, smacked the tail down and blew out the sidewall on my tire. Marvellous. So uh, don't judge me but I got a brand new tailwheel at a lawnmower shop of all places. It's a Kenda tire. Let's see if we can find there we go. Kenda. Um, everything is exactly the same as the tailwheel that came off the aircraft. Same size, same ply ratings. So bonus that only took two days to get hold of I was a bit worried about that so I did scavenge another one this has been lying in my dad's garage for like 40 years um, very good condition it's a McCreary tire but the bead is a little bit worn out let me see if I can show you see the, the bead is a little bit perished so it would have been a you know a uh, fine intermediate tire just to put on the on the aircraft so I could move it around the hangar but I wasn't prepared to fly with that although being a tail the tail wheel is not such a big deal because if you I mean if you if you pop it or it goes flat you're dragging it along anyway it's not going to really have a catastrophic effect to your your handling but we got a new one so let's fit it on the aircraft then to put air in. That seems to be like a winner. Yep, yeah, there it is. We're ready to go flying again. Right, let's put this tail wheel back on. So to fix this um, locking tab, somebody had tightened it without locating it properly and bent the damn thing. Anyway, so let's get this back in.
rear temperatures are good. You got your angles right. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually maintain that altitude in that turn instead of sinking. And then just like, go to the right hand side of the runway and let yourself drift in. Okay. As opposed to left hand side of the runway. Okay, and then in. Okay, yeah. cool. So do the opposite. Yeah. Okay, so, so turn it. later. Nose down a touch. A little bit of power now just to assist with the turning. Yeah. That's it. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, got it for the right turn. And manage it from there. Lovely. Up to last airfield, Alpha Echo Echo, final approach, runway 04, touch and go. Get a little bit more flat, a little bit less power, your speed's over speeding. From right off, lift your nose. Right off the power, that's it. Hold it there. Now ready to catch it, now a little bit on the power, a little bit nose down. That's it. Now hold that penetration power, looking good. A little bit more power, just a touch. That's a touch. There we go. Nice. Okay, round out and gently touching the tail down. That's it. Lovely. Good stuff. Plug it, plug it. There we go. Good. There's that little bump on yeah. the edge there. Let's actually check it out. Come on, there, field cover with Keenan Paul, radio check, please. Okay. You're up now? Copy you, 5-5. Back, 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 Come 